Memphis, there are plenty of sights and sounds to see in Memphis. I mean, the most notable, obviously, is like maybe Graceland, where Elvis Presley lived. But there's one place that's a pretty common place, and that's Beale Street. And that's in the middle of downtown. Beale Street, of course, is where there were a, a big renaissance of music that came out. And they used to call it, like, where blues was developed. And they used to call it Memphis Blues. And it's all depicted in this one museum. got a fur coat, for God's sake. We've worn it for three years. We like it so much that we've worn it for the past. That is Beagle Street. It's kind of like a walking zone in the middle of downtown Memphis. So, this is what I do. I check out different areas. So, I'm obviously in Memphis. And I'm headed towards the Rock and Soul Museum. Now, I have no idea whether or not they'll allow cameras or anything like that in there. With the FedEx Forum. Past their baseball stadium, the uh, AutoZone Stadium, or whatever it's called. Let's try this. Gibson. It's a guitar, isn't it? Okay. I know if I put this video up on YouTube, total copyright claim. Automatic. Alright. Let's go see this. Let's do this. The museum itself actually starts off with a movie that kind of explains kind of all what happened and then you get to walk through. You get a headset so you can listen to a lot of the displays or whatnot. And obviously I can't go into everything I heard because I've forgotten some of it, obviously, but it gives you a general overview of what happened at the museum. I like the museum because it uh, spends all the time talking about the different styles of music and how the blues actually evolved. Around Memphis, around the turn of the century, what ended up happening is there were a lot of poor, basically, sharecroppers. And there were white and there were black sharecroppers. Now, obviously, this is back long enough to where there was a lot of racial tension. But also what happens is that both these groups actually start to influence each other with their music. The museum has lots of displays of crossovers of, of groups and uh, different people who rise up in popularity as the blues become more and more common.
and he even talks about uh, the surge of like the great ones like B.B. King and people like that who start to be, get really well known and they actually played all on Beale Street. And that's really where it gets, becomes uh, fantastic. they've got a huge section of course to Elvis Presley of, 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 of you were going to see so it's a nice museum and it's worth a visit so all in all it's a great place uh, they give you an audio listening thing so you can walk through I'll have to uh, see how much I can remember the quest to look up, but it's uh, worth a visit if you're interested in that time period and, of course, like the music. Liking the music is kind of prerequisite. Um, other than that, good. I'd recommend it. Uh, it tell, it's not all about Elvis. There, there are other people there besides Elvis, although Elvis is a big part of it. So this is Bill Street. Bill Street is actually famous because it was the spot where a lot of uh, jazz and all the, the, the music scene of uh, Memphis would take off from. It'd be known as the world famous Irish bar, really. They're all world famous, it seems. Pork with an attitude. They have a hard rock. Back in the days, these were like jazz clubs, blues clubs, country clubs. Now it's just famous as a tourist attraction. General store. Ida B. Wells, uh, I've heard of her. This is the other side of Beale Street.
Obviously it's dead because it's like noon. This is kind of more of a nightlife scene where it probably gets absolutely packed. So nothing reason, there's no real reason to keep going up there. Everything's closed. So, hmm, nice place to walk through. I mean, personally, yeah, I'm sure it's a great nightlife. It's all restaurants. I don't know. I'm up in the air whether or not I'll uh, stay. Came into the BB King Barbecue Blues Club. Now, I don't know if BB King owns it, played here, or anything like that. Could have. But they did break me down to get ribs. They broke me. What can I say? I'm weak. They are good ribs. And I wasn't even hungry. Hey, guys. Starting to get more people. The rest of Beale Street is, is very fun. Uh, it obviously has a far more kind of nightlife than it does during the day, but it's a, it's a good stop no matter when you go. I mean, obviously, you're going to deal with more crowds in the evening and at night than you will during the day when I was there. So, it's a good, it's a good spot to check out.